Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a subroutine in VB.net and I'm going to do that by just creating a generic Windows form application. I'm going to give that Windows form application a name like my sub. When I click OK I'm going to be greeted by a blank form. On that form I'm going to place a button. That button should probably have some text on it like press me and that button should also probably have a name like button press. All right, so this is going to be the vehicle we're going to use to explore the concept of subroutines. Um, so I also created a video prior to this, and what that video did is it discussed the differences between a subroutine and a function. So if that's not something that you're clear on or you want to know more about it, you should watch that video. In this video, we're going to explore the basic syntax. So when I double click on the button, I'm going to get kicked over to the code design view. And if if you if this was the first program you ever wrote, you'd probably just write hello world right here and you'd either display it to a text box or a message box. If you watched my videos, you know I like message boxes. But rather than just right here displaying the word hello world or the phrase, I'm going to call a subroutine. All right, and I'm going to call a user defined subroutine. One thing you'll notice is this right here is a subroutine this subroutine was automatically generated when I clicked on the button. So in other words, what's happening here is I'm defining the click event for button press. So to illustrate the concept, I want to call a fun uh, not a function, but a subroutine called um, hello. And so the first keyword is I write sub. That means I'm about to define a subroutine. And I can call it whatever I want to call it as long as that conforms to general variable name rules. So no special characters, no spaces. Then a parenthesis. And here I have to make a decision. So are there any parameters for this subroutine? Well, if we think about what it does, and all it really does is just print out a string, which is hello world. Sounds like I'm not going to have any parameters. And notice I'm not about to put a return type here because it's not a function. If this was a function, I'd say as whatever the return type is, but there is no return type, which is why you would be using a subroutine in the first place. So I've got a subroutine called hello, and I need to make it do something. What I said was that I wanted to have a message box, and I wanted that message box to show a message like hello world. All right, like I said, if this was an absolute first uh, introduction to programming video, this statement would probably be right here. But instead, I'm saying the user clicks this button, and when this button's clicked, I need to make a call to this subroutine. So I am just going to call the subroutine right here. Notice that since there was no parameters for the subroutine, there's not going to be arg any arguments passed right here. And so these are kind of interchangeable terms. But when you're writing the header of a function or a subroutine, you call them parameters. When you call it or you pass values, you call them arguments. So no arguments, no parameters, we're good. So let's just kind of trace through what's happening here. Uh, the user's clicking on this button. That kicks us to this point in the code. Then we go down to line four. And this calls a subroutine called hello. And hello generates a message box which says hello world. So if I go to run this thing, I click and I'm greeted with a hello world message. Now this isn't different than a normal hello world program. Just the difference is we had a user created sub which shows our message as opposed to just doing it right here. So if you're wondering this time, well, was that really necessary? It absolutely was not necessary, but you are watching a video about subs, so we used a sub. Uh, in my next video, uh, I'll make a couple more on the subject. We'll do some more interesting things, because this is anything but interesting, and I'll show you some places where you actually might use a sub to do something useful. So watch my next couple videos, and uh, this should be more interesting. That's for certain. See you soon.